So of course this video was coming wasn't it with all the hype and that around Alice at the moment. Um, so this is my little take on it. Probably whatever, it could be a tag video if you want or not. Just sort of relating different scenarios and characters from the book to different fragrances. As we do, if you know me, not all that creative um, and building on little ideas that are already about. So hopefully it will be a good one. Um, yeah, so let's get it going. Ooh, I'm out for a little stroll in the woods. What can I do today? La 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 la. La 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 la. Ooh, was that a random bunny I saw there? Let's go deeper and deeper into the woods. What a joyous day that would be. I've also told nobody where I'm going. Aren't I good? Let's have a look, a look, a look. Ooh, did that, did that bunny go down that hole there? I need to go jump in, don't I? So now I'm down a little hole in the woods because that was the wisest thing for me to do to follow that bunny. And what I've chose for Alice is jumping down the hole kind of uh, fragrance. As it snows, is the beautiful Noir de Noir. Now I've chose that for many reasons. Obviously the deep dark patchouli, kind of a little bit of the damp patchouli, like this uh, hole full of litter, kind of is. Also, it's very mysterious. It's very goth-like, like a hole would be. And it's also, you know, kind of exciting and intoxicating, like I imagine jumping down a hole would be. And of course that dark, dark rose is what's to come maybe on this journey, as we all already know. So for Alice jumping down the hole, don't worry I was not harmed, it's not a very deep hole, I have picked Noir de Noir. So obviously the next thing Alice did was uh, start experimenting with substances, wasn't it? And um, what did she do? Well. First of all, she came across some stuff that said, eat me. So, let's, let's try what Alice tried. Let's give this a few little nibbles. Oh no, I've shrunken. Oh no, I've shrunken down. What am I gonna do now? Oh, look at this, this is handy. Drink me. Is it whiskey? Is it wee? Is it cold tea put in a bottle for dramatic effect? I suppose we don't know, we'll have to find out, won't we? Mmm, it turns out it's one of them three anyway. So yes, for their kind of eat me, drink me kind of crazy drugs that Alice took, what will be a better fragrance than black opium? Um, from Yves Saint Laurent. Now, for many reasons, obviously the opium kind of link, but also I think black opium has that magic. It does kind of make me feel funny and does weird things to me. It's like a beautiful dark coffee, dark fragrances, vanilla, musks, and it does get sweeter and sweeter as it goes on. Um, and obviously I suppose the opium side of it is that naughty kind of seductiveness about it that that ability to change your mood let's say so for eat me drink me is black opium wait what was that the white rabbit come here little blighter don't care that you're late you're late you little bugger Okay, oh. so for the rabbit, this was a little bit more brash than I thought, stuck down here. For the rabbit, oh yeah, sorry about that, I'm out of that little bloody god knows what it was pit down there. For the rabbit, I've chosen Legio X from Centurion. I know I've mentioned it a few times, but it is, it's kind of sweet and it's, it's kind of, 
fresh and beautiful for the summer. But the reason I picked that for the rabbit is, what do rabbits eat? They eat kind of salady stuff. And I imagine they eat lots of things like tomato leaf and that. And although that's quite blended in with the other notes and that. The tomato life, tomato life, tomato leaf, particularly makes me think about rabbits and that. And uh, I think the white rabbit in uh, Alice in Wonderland would greatly appreciate that. So that's the that's that one. I see you. What was that? What? I see you. Oh yeah, I see you too, Mr. Caterpillar. Now shut up. So next on the list is obviously the uh, the smoking caterpillar. What I've picked for him is um, Killian Smoke for the Soul. Now we know what this caterpillar is smoking, don't we? But Smoke for the Soul is um, is of course a fragrance based around that. It's based around um, eucalyptus, green notes, and of course a bit of the old marijuana. And it's not it's not heavily um, kind of that way, really. But it is, um, it is, what's the word? It, it gives you that feeling anyway. And obviously the, this tripping caterpillar blowing his smoke bubbles, etc. Was, um, obviously there was a bit more in his little shisha pipe than just your average shisha. And I think that also the, the smoke from a soul kind of goes with a whole kind of Alice in Wonderland kind of green, magically trippiness of it all. So for the little caterpillar that becomes a butterfly, is smoke for my soul from Killian. Ah, oh, hello strange man. What, you'd like me to sit down for dinner with you? Oh, why not, I'll have a bit of a cup of tea and cake with you. That's what I normally do, I have uh, little meals with psychopathic, potentially severely bipolar, schizophrenic people. Um, yes, please, please give me some of your doctored cake and doctored tea. I'd love that. So yes, but anyway, seriously, for the Mad Hatter, what I've gone for for that is um, Love and Crime, which probably kind of fits this scenario <laughs> also a bit well when you think about it, but it's basically, it's this beautiful for me it's orange cake like a dark soaked moist beautiful dripping orange cake it's it's got that kind of cakiness about it sweetness and beauty and it's just an absolutely gorgeous gourmand fragrance it's one of the best kind of cakey fragrances i've ever smelt before anyway and it, and it it is very dark and it is very addictive like I imagine sitting down with a lunatic would be so for the Mad Hatter and his little tea party is Love and Crime from Exodillo and now it's snowing off with his head um, yeah alright love keep your shirt on I'm, a, I'm an anarchist anyway a republican love no place for you round here um, so let's just imagine this is kind of uh, the Queen's kind of a uh, moat. I know it take a lot of imagination that. But uh, basically um, for the Queen, the Queen of Hearts, I have obviously had to go for a rose fragrance. And what I've chosen for that is Mathieu's Radical Rose, kind of new to me that one. But I think it kind of suits her quite a bit. It's kind of a very dark, mysterious... But loud, in your face kind of uh, rose. Not obnoxious like the Queen might be, but it's definitely got that very red rouge darkness about her, which let's face it, she was a pretty dark character, wasn't she? I mean, she um, beats her husband and uh, chops heads off people. If she was al alive nowadays, we might kind of uh, put her in some sort of band group of people. But um, I think Radical Rose, being serious now, is is the perfect kind of one for her. It's not an obvious rose. It, it does lean a little noir de noir-ish in its kind of gothy darkness. And let, let's face it, there's nobody darker than the Queen of Hearts. So that's for her. Right, thank you. 
So next up is the dancing lobster. The lobster dancing with the hare and the tortoise. Uh, is it a tortoise? The mock turtle, that's the one. And obviously that would need to be something kind of aquatic. And this is as aquatic as it gets around here. But um, for that, I have picked carnal flower. Now I know that in itself isn't particularly sea-like or overly aquatic. But as far as aquatics go, it's it's one that I love and it's got that salty sea breeze in amongst the florals which would represent the the little lobster I guess and I guess lobsters swim in warm water don't they as well as cold water and uh yeah the, what's it um the carnal flower has that tropical floral breeze the gorgeous tuberose and, and jasmine mixing with a slightly like coconutty feel and the salt air so it's a it's a really good fragrance for this i think so for the lobster and his little dance we've gone for carnal flower from frederick Marlowe. so that's the end of that video it's just my own little take on it obviously this theme is going to be kind of out there a lot at the moment and there will be much better much more quality, much more in-depth, better videos, more related to the story than, than mine too, probably. Um, don't know if I'll make it into a tag, I suppose I'll find out when we're done, won't we? Um, but if you're interested in doing a video like this, why not? It's very current. Alright folks, thanks for watching.